check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Mic check, mic check. Check again, check again. Check again, check again. Check again, check again. Mic check, mic check.
check, mic check. Welcome back. This is Nicholas Trumple joining you live here on TLU Plus and YouTube. We've got another con or another conference matchup this time here in Tegin. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen you guys last, but we've got a big one today. We're wrapping up the conference play. TLU currently fighting to get in the playoffs. They've got a win out today in the last two games against Southwestern and St. Thomas to have a chance to make it in the playoffs. Top six teams go. TLU currently sitting at number eight and four and nine. Ahead of them, Dallas and Austin College and Colorado. Six and six, seven and seven, and six and eight. Centenary coming in today, seven and five. They're number three in the conference in the conference standings, right ahead of Shriner, who's seven and six. They've got a couple more games to go left in the season than TLU, Shriner, and a couple other teams in the conference. 20 seconds on the clock here in Seguin. We'll be right back after the national anthem and get ready for tip-off again. Nicholas Trouble joining you live here on TLU Plus and YouTube. We are back here on TLU Plus and YouTube here in Seguin, Texas. We're going to meet the starters for both teams for the Centenary Gents. Coming out now, number zero, Craig Collier, a junior out of North Little Rock, Arkansas. Number two, Seth Thomas, a senior forward out of Kilgore, Texas. Number three in the conference in scoring at 17 points a game, Seth Thomas is. Number four, Quentin Beverly, a sophomore guard out of Katy, Texas. Number 10, Jalen Bear, a senior guard out of Athens, Georgia. And last but not least, underneath the number 22, Jacoby Greenleaf, a junior forward out of Houston, Texas. So the gents from everywhere on this roster. It's got an Illinois on here, Bakari Nelson, Las Vegas, Nevada. They're coming out of Louisiana, Shreveport that is. And now let's meet the home team as we pan that way. Similar lineup as a couple last games. Coming out now, a freshman, Chris Jarrett, number four, her guard out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And number five, Xavier Phillips, leading score for the Bulldogs, a senior guard out of Austin, Texas, Dripping Springs. Coming out now, Jordan Dunn, another sophomore forward, number 35, out of Del Valley, Texas. Now Teddy Tapkin, number 32, another freshman for the Bulldogs, starting today forward, also from Austin, Texas. Texas. And number two, Easton Allen, a junior forward, local kid out of New Braunfels, Texas, a 
specifically Marion, Marion, Texas, right around the corner, about 10, 15 minutes away here from the campus of TLU. Big, big game, as you know, if you're a TLU fan sitting there trying to fight for that third place position. Centenary currently seven and five coming in today. Right ahead of them is St. Thomas at nine and three, and then obviously Trinity up ahead at 12 and one. But right behind Centenary is Shriner, who's at seven and six. Colorado six and six. Austin seven and seven, and then Dallas six and eight. All four of those teams about a game, a game and a half, and even a half a game apart. TLU right below those four at four and nine. So they're they're trying to fight to get back into this uh, conference tournament. You know, top six teams go. TLU sitting at number eight at that four and nine position. They got to win out, and it starts here today in Seguin. They're coming off of a one and one weekend up in uh, Sherman, Texas, and Dallas, Texas against U of U D and uh, Austin College. Lost to Austin College last Friday, 82 to 70. It was a close game. Early on, actually had to leave for a while, ended up losing that one, and then beat Dallas by one point, 75-74 after some clutch free throws from their number 35, Jordan Dunn, who's here at the bottom of your screen right now. Easton Allen and Jacoby Greenleaf gonna have the tip. The Gents gonna win it. Gents fighting to stay in that third place position today. TLU needs a win, a desperate win today for TLU against the Gents. That one off the mark from Jalen Bear. These teams have faced off. Obviously, we're heading toward the end of conference play, end of the season, actually. We got, we're around Super Bowl time now. And TLU ended up, you know, lost that first game against the Jets at Centenary. And it is, it is tough to play in the Gold Dome, though, and every team knows that. The Jets actually 43 and nine in the last 52 games at the Gold Dome out in Shreveport, Louisiana. So it's tough to play over there. I remember playing for TLU. We ended up running the conference uh, that year, the tournament and regular season, but we lost to Centenary at Centenary by I think 20 or 30. It was, it was pretty bad. It's hard to play over there. Nice pass from Teddy Tapkin down to Jordan Dunn. That'll put TLU on the map, tied up by two. Centenary coming off of a 2-0 weekend on the other side to TLU's 1-1, one and, one, and they faced off against some tough teams, Colorado College and St. Thomas. They beat St. Thomas, actually, held them to the lowest points. They scored all season, just 60. They beat them 75-60, big margin there, 15 points in that victory versus St. Thomas. And then right after that, last Friday, they played Colorado College in a close close game, 61-58, behind a 19-point effort from Greenleaf. Was on the floor now, Phillips for three. Knocks it down, no foul called. But what a shot from Phillips. Phillips has played extremely well this time in the season. Between him, Allen, and Tapkin. I mean, that's, that's three guys that remain in the starting lineup for Coach Falky. You don't see a lot of change in that. The other two, you know, in and out. But I will tell you, Phillips, Allen, and Tapkin have averaged double digits in their last four games for the Bulldogs. Phillips taking another three. That one in and out. Tipped away, rebounded by Greenleaf. Gent's going to push it up the floor after the three. Close out by Allen. Driving baseline is there. Nice take by Caleb Bear. An older lineup for the Jets today. Two seniors, three juniors on the floor for Centenary. They play really well together. I'll tell you, if there's one team in the conference besides, you know, Trinity, who's 12 and one, that has been in the game almost every game in Centenary, because they play really hard basketball 24-7. They've got a deep roster on that bench as well. Nice pass again by Tapkin Dunn, able to get another bucket for the Bulldogs. We're tied at seven now. The pace of this game is flowing right now. And Seguin, nice pump fake, nice help defense from Allen. What a shot though from Greg Collier. A little step back, but the gents ahead by two. Mid-range shot off the back of the rim. No bouncing for Dunn. 
I'll tell you what though, TLU breaking the press pretty well. They, you know, they struggled early on this season breaking the press. They've actually climbed the, uh, the turnover ladder in the conference. I think they're sitting at four now. They were at like number eight at one point. The bucket for Centenary. TLU's gonna have to slow him down on the offensive side. Can't just break the press. Gotta play some defense as well. Let's see what Centenary's defense does. One of the top defenses in the conference gonna cause a turnover. It continues to be loud. We got immediate timeout. Four seconds under that 16 minute mark. So we'll be back Centenary ahead 11-7 here on TLU Plus and YouTube. Centenary with a four-point lead out of the media timeout. Just four minutes in here in Seguin. On Super Bowl weekend, three-point shot wide open off the front of the rim. That one going to remain in the hands of the Jets. Has Thomas out of the game early. That sub uh, must have happened on the media timeout. I must have missed that. Who checked in? Oh, looks like Tykeem Singleton checked in, a senior out of Fort Worth. Another guard as he gets a nice little back door. Can't finish over the foul. But nice back door by Singleton. Go ahead to the line to shoot two. This is Samaj Edwards checking in for the Bulldogs for Jordan Dunn. Edwards, a junior transfer. Out of Maryland, he actually attended Oak Hill Academy and uh, hit up Coach Falky over the offseason. Falky said, oh, he's read that Oak Hill. He said, oh, he's got to be something special. I'll tell you what, Samaj Edwards is, is, pretty, is something special. Came in, you know, didn't play a whole lot early on in the season. Started this, you know, the year late with the Bulldogs. Wasn't recruited, you know, over the summer. But he's played some big time minutes for TLU. Extremely athletic. This is Allen trying to break the press. Great defense by the Jets is stolen away. Nice steal back by Allen. Jets ahead by six. This is Ladarius King, who's also back into the game for the Bulldogs. King, a big time shooter. TLU, nice ball movement. Edwards off the mark on the short corner, rebounded by Centenary. Centenary playing some really good defense right now. Again, they held St. Thomas to just 60, their lowest of the entire year. Oh, nice up and under, but we got to travel first. Centenary <laughs> back with the press. Carter Lewis into the game for TLU. Another freshman on the floor. Lewis inside the tap team. You get it inside the tap and it opens up a lot. We've seen that. Look at Carter underneath. Good defense by the Gents. Breaking the press has got to finish. Centenary with a lot of energy. They, they tend to, you know, have energy. Coach Chris Dorsey does a great job of keeping these players motivated. Great little pump fake. Kick back out. Driving by Edwards. Nice take. Singleton. Going to the rack. Now the Gents up ahead by eight. Well, you've got to slow this game down. The Gents all over the place. Oh, well, we got to travel. 
That step taken a little too late. That's that shooter step. But Carter Lewis just takes it a tad bit late after, after he catches it. Seth Thomas checking back in. For sitting there, he'll take the inbound. So the Gents today looking for a serious sweep over TLU. They'll actually face off against Southwestern tomorrow up in uh, Georgetown. And they'll be looking for a series sweep over Southwestern as well. Centenary faced off against Southwestern and TLU back in January. I think it was like January 4th over Christmas break. So it's been a while since the Bulldogs have seen the Gents. I feel like it's been forever since they've been back here in the doghouse. Seth Thomas against Edwards, short corner, nice move. And one for Seth Thomas, that's a tough take. Just like that, the Gents up ahead by 10, 17-7. Edwards gonna come out early. I think he's got two. Let's check, let's check the fouls on TLU. Yeah, he's got two just like that. Centenary hasn't committed a foul all game. TLU a three. Thomas able to knock down the and one free throw. Centenary up by 11 early. Defense, got to get it over. What's that, eight seconds? Now King with it. A lot of time when that shot clock is wasted when you're breaking the press. They're down to 12 already. Now TLU trying to rush it. King skip pass over to Lewis. Great closeout. Now done on the short corner. It's tipped up and stolen away. That is now four turnovers on the Bulldogs. Three in transition, no good. In the corner is Collier. Gonna slow it down a little bit. Nice back door, tipped away by Lewis. Great hands it's on the floor. Phillips able to pick it up. Good for some space out to King. King baseline. Floater no good off the front of the rim. Another loose ball picked up by the Gents. Oh, nice. Oh, got a double dribble. He didn't put his other hand on that. That was pretty smooth. Darnell Horton, Easton Allen, check it in for TLU. You know, it seems like TLU's turned the ball over, but the Gents with five turnovers on the other side. TLU with four. But the Gents have scored five off of those four turnovers. TLU, three. Eight rebounds for Centenary so far. TLU just one rebound so far in the game. Horton for three, that one off the front of the rim. Great box out underneath by Greenleaf. Oh, here inside, looking for a jumper, nice block. Greenleaf able to get the ball underneath. And it's off the leg of Greenleaf, so TLU gonna get it back. Gerald Mirage, the first freshman, one of three on the Gents roster, gonna check in for the first time today. Gordon inside to Dunn, Dunn out to Phillips. Deep three from Phillips is good. Great shot by Xavier Phillips. Phillips now with six points, two threes for TOU. Seth Thomas driving again, in against Allen, gonna draw a foul. We got another media timeout. 11.39 left to go in the first half. It's 18 to 10. TOU finally finding a, a rhythm behind Xavier Phillips with six points. We'll be back in a moment here on TOU Plus on YouTube.
Mike Wacker just walked into the building. TLU pass basketball coach. We got Seth Thomas at the line. Yeah, Wacker. So we'll start with his uh, his dad was a football coach here at TLU. He's a national champion football coach when it was TLC. Now Wacker, Coach Mike Wacker, the son, who's here in attendance today, then coached basketball here not too long ago, two years ago, but, you know, with Coach Austin Falky, the head coach of the Bulldogs now. One, was it two or three? I'm looking at the, the banners now on the wall. He won two after Coach Jimmy Smith, who's now at Trinity, Wacker did, and then, you know, retired from basketball after a long career. Was head coach of Judson High School out in San Antonio for a while. He came over to TLU to finish off his career, won two conference championships. But Wacker, great to see him in attendance for this game today. Foul on the floor. Wacker also a legend on the court himself. He's standing at a tall 6'9". Played for UT, was drafted actually I think to the Jazz. Wasn't able to play out his career due to injuries, but He's a tough player and a great coach. King up top. It's 10 to 20 right now. Allen off the front of the rim. Speeding up. Sitting there, he's speeding up TLU's offensive play. And then getting whatever they want right now on defense. If you want to check out the live stats again, go to the TLU schedule. Most of you probably clicked on the link next to the stats link, but there's a link for it. Nice pass up ahead, Dunn going up. That's out on Dunn. Not able to finish because what a block by Singleton. Some more substitutions, Jalen Bear checking back in for the Gents. Look at Coach out here with the mop. Coach Dorsey mopping up the floor. We appreciate you, Coach. 10.35 left in the first half. It's 20 to 10. Oh, nice take. Nice pass. Centenary just relentless right now on defense, and I think it's, you know, carrying into their offense. They've had this energy all day, seems like. Saw them earlier and shoot around, you know, pregame. Look at the defense. Nearly a turnover. Nice pass from Horton. Allen inside. Nice finish from Allen. Until you've got to. You know, keep doing that. Can't let Centenary speed you up. They're making some great passes, and a lot of passes are open down low. They just got to get it from beyond the perimeter. Centenary making a lot of, you know, tough passes or causing a lot of tough passes. On the outside, Bear backing down. Allen looking to go up. Oh, nice block from Allen. That's great defense. Orton looking to push it to 2 on 3 Going to slow it down a little bit. Sitting there in a 1-3-1, if you haven't noticed. King in the in the corner for three off the mark. Horton looking to go up. That's padded away. It's out of bounds on Collier down low. Nice pass. Horton gives it up to Allen. Now King. Great rotations by the Gents. Eight on the shot clock. They've got to get something going. King going to pull it. That's good. King is able to knock down these shots, those kinds of shots specifically, you know, off balance, quick threes. He's just got to become more consistent for TLU. You know, missed a lot of last year with injuries, even missed, you know, some games this year. But he's played some really great ones. He's, he was six for nine from three just two weeks ago. I believe it was against Colorado. Ended up winning that game due to, you know, part of it was due to King's shooting efforts. Look at Phillips driving all the way. Great take by Xavier Phillips. 
Phillips does a great job on fast breaks. You know, when TLU can't get anything, oh, what a move from Thomas off the front of the rim. But when TLU can't get anything, he's going to run on the fast break, speed it up. Look at King taking another air ball. That's the consistency we were talking about. He's got the confidence, just has to find it. Braden Moore checking in. 6 6 guard out of Rain, Louisiana. And then Tapkin going to check in for Dunn on the TLU side. Oh, nice puck away from King. Time wasted on the shot clock there. Three pointer deep. Oh, that's off the back of the rim. Collier looking to save it, and he does. He bounces it off of Allen's leg. Hey, that media timeout came quick. We've got another here in Seguin. We'll be back in just a moment. I'll tell you plus on YouTube. Women's game going to follow the men's game today. Supposed to start at 7.30. Oh, we might have to get a replay on that. Coach Dorsey not happy about it. Do we have that angle? I don't even know if we have that angle. Let me double check. Again, you're on YouTube, so you guys can go back and look at it too. Yeah, we don't even have that angle, but I'm gonna adjust this camera so we do. Centenary basketball ahead by seven. TLU chipping away at the lead a little bit. They were down 12. Got to play some good defense here. Nice defense by the Bulldogs. Tough shot for Collier. Phillips doing a great job right now against Centenary's press. He's going to pull another three. Xavier Phillips is hot right now. That's his third triple of the evening. That gives Phillips 11 points with the layup and the three triples. Collier trying to answer, not going to. Allen better be careful on these passes. He looked like he almost turned that ball over there. TLU, however, within four, 24-20. Nice pass, two on one. Allen showing some body underneath. He's fouled. A little too much contact on the poke away by Greenleaf. So Allen will head to the line to shoot two. Six fifty left in the half. Allen at the line. Chance to make it a one possession game here. And that one will rattle in. Oh, 
Seth Thomas is going to check in for Braden Board. And Allen able to knock down both. So TOU now trailing by two after trailing by 12 at one point. Seth Thomas up top against Allen. Looking to back him down, spin away, going up. Not good, gets his own rebound and puts it in. Great defense at Allen on the first possession. Can't allow that offensive board. Good job by King able to split the defense. It's a three on one. Allen up top, Horton driving in. Floater, and we've got an offensive foul. job by Greenleaf to draw that foul just outside of the arc. Look at Coach Dorsey going at it again with the with the mop. We need to hire we need to hire some students. So I feel like coaches are always grabbing that mop over there. They're two hundred dollar mops I've heard. I think the basketball team invested in them just recently. Dorsey going at it again. Four point game, 6.18 on the clock. Hop step down to the baseline, up and not in. Great defense by TOU on that possession. Phillips will have it up top. They'll give it in to Tapkin. Tapkin's got a little shot there. Surprised he didn't take it. He will take that floater though. Tapkin efficient at that spot. He's done it all year and just his first year here at TOU. Two point game. And centenary answer. Kick it out up top. This is Thomas. 12 on the shot clock. Thomas looking to go one on one. Greenleaf. Hard shot. Puts it in. Boy, does Centenary take some tough shots. But they make a lot of them. Back to a four point game. Phillips crosses half court. Nearly a trap. Allen up to Jarrett. Xavier outside off that time. Phillips now three for six from beyond the arc. Still 50% from three. Pretty impressive by the senior. He's got 11 to lead the Bulldogs. Sitting there looking to run some sets now. Thomas backing down Allen, not able to get it. Allen playing some good defense against Thomas last year. All SCAC first teamer this year, number three in the conference in scoring. Number four in the con or I'm sorry, number three in the conference in rebounds. Number four in the conference in scoring at 17 and eight. Thomas underneath inside is Greenleaf against Tapkin. And off the mark at the end of the shot clock, Greenleaf all over the place. Saves it for the Gents pull up jumper. Beverly knocking it down. Six point game and a timeout by Coach Dorsey. 30 seconds. We'll stay right here on TLU Plus. The Gents won a timeout, 424 left in the half. We've got a close one. I thought the Gents were going to run away a little bit there early on, but TLU finally finding some buckets. Phillips playing a doing a great job shooting the ball. And then Allen playing some great defense against Seth Thomas and the Gents. I think they just extended it. The Gents sitting down now alongside, or sitting down now on the bleachers.
take a look at some stats. The Centenary shooting one for six from deep. 12 for 25 from the floor. TOU four for 11 from deep. Nine for 22 from the floor. So TOU shooting the ball pretty well outside. Phillips making some tough ones. King made a tough one as well. But I think Tapkin and Allen are going to be the game deciders down low. You know, that, that pass has been open quite often. Each of them have four points, but they've only taken two shots each. And another turnover. That's also going to be a game decider. Turn the ball over for, for both teams. Both teams with six turnovers now. Thomas inbound to Greenleaf. Another turnover by Sittner. Dorsey not happy about that play. Falky, on the other hand, was not happy about that last turnover. Both these teams playing some great defense today. But they're playing really fast, fast paced game so far. Nice rebound by Thomas off the missed shot. There's another one. Allen checking back in for TOU. Up top, guarded by Dunn. They'll hand it off to Mirage. Now Greenleaf against Tapkin. We've got a foul on the floor. I think Tapkin kind of put his hands out a little bit. Moved his feet well, but too much hands on the drive. Thomas going to take it out down low. We'll get it in quick. Oh, nice move up and under. Can't finish. It's on the floor. And Centenary has it. Allen all over it. And it's tipped out by the Gents. Good job by Easton Allen to get on the floor, get dirty. Because that was going to the Gents. I thought it was going to be a Centenary ball. Done inside. They'll kick it out. Phillips on baseline. He's doubled. Take it way up top. Allen able to come over and grab it. Oh, nice move from Jarrett, but he loses control. And we've got a foul on the floor. A little trip up by Jarrett. So that's seven fouls. TOU sitting there now on a bonus. So Singleton going to shoot. And now on the one on one. So it's in the tap in. There it is, a floater. Can't get that one to go off the front of the rim. Singleton pushing it up. Driving right, nice pivot, keeps it out to Thomas wide open. Off the back of the rim. Gents get another rebound. Shooting a lot of wide, or outside shots. So the rebounds are ending up on the outside. They're getting a lot of second chance opportunities. Not that time there though, after the turnover. That's eight for both teams. AJ Hall checking in for the first time today. <laughs> Nearly stolen away by Thomas. Sitting there applying some pressure with 2.30 left here in the first half. Colin Polk now into the game for TLU, another freshman guard on the floor. Oh, that one close. Allen. 
catch and look, man, he had a lot of space. Dunn as well has got some space. They're just looking for that outside pass. Nice pull up, not able to go for Allen. It'll be rebounded by the Gents. Ball kicked out. Beverly this time, mid-range shot, good. Centenary starting to gain some momentum here late in the first half. They're up by eight, 140 to go. Tapping down to Dunn. Dunn kicked out. Eight on the shot clock. Phillips is throwing it up, but he's fouled on the on the drive. So Phillips going to be heading to the line. Kind of quiet here in Seguin. I'm surprised on a Friday night. I guess it's Super Bowl weekend. We're getting late in the season. The woman there in attendance on your right side of the screen in the student section. It's pajama night here in the doghouse. Comes a mop again. Coach Dorsey, give it to him. Coach Dorsey in his seventh season out at Centenary. Been pretty successful. But we're going to take a whole music timeout. We got some music going. I guess the floor is really wet today. We need a round of applause, Coach Dorsey. He's going to work. Phillips at the line, TLU down by eight. Phillips a 64% free throw shooter on the season. And able to knock that down, bring TLU within seven. And that one as well. Phillips averaging 12 a game so far here in the first half. He's got 12. Greenleaf guarded by Tackin. They'll kick it out. This is Hall with it now. Great heads by Tackin. They're going to work it down low. Greenleaf gets the freshman. No foul called. We've got to travel. Uh -oh. Hopefully, Greenleaf is okay. He's holding his knee. That is not a good sign. Great defense by Allen, though, on the defensive stop. We're going to have to get a substitution, I think. Yeah, we are. Played in beer checking in for him. Lead down to six, just a minute four left. Here in the first half, TLU trying to Produce his lead as much as possible. Phillips outside. They're going to double that. Down low to Tapkin. Nice pass. That's goaltending. Great ball movement by the Bulldogs. I think they kind of figured it out. Little high low action against this 1 3 1. 50 seconds. I think they're, yeah, there it is. Four point game now. It's 40 on the clock. Thomas has it. Nice pull up. Off the mark this time. 
TLU with a chance to make it a one possession game. Only five second difference between the game clock and shot clock. TLU able. Allen pull up jumper off the front of the rim. Tapkin gets the board, can't finish, and it's tipped out by TLU. Getting some great looks inside. Tapkin and Allen not able to put it in the bucket. We've got just 15 on the clock. No shot clock. Board against Tapkin. Five seconds. Make it three. Three pointer from deep. That one way off the mark. And time will expire. A four point ball game here in Seguin 32 28. The gents ahead will be back after halftime to catch all the action here on Till You Plus. We'll be back.
welcome back here to TLU Plus and YouTube. We are back in Seguin for another conference matchup. Centenary with the lead after the half, 32, TLU 28. We've got a pretty close ball game. The last time these two teams faced off, it was a 20-point victory for the Gents at the Gold Dome. And like you said, they always play well there. They're 49 and three in their last 52 games out there at the Gold Dome in Shreveport, Louisiana. But it's a different, different kind of play style here in such a smaller gym. This is probably one of the smaller gyms in the conference. And then the Dome, obviously the biggest gym. It's probably, I, yeah, it's bigger than Trinity's. Uh, what is that, Cal Guard Gymnasium? It's bigger than theirs. Probably just slightly, but smallest gym to the, tour, to the biggest gym. TLU went and now Centenary doing the opposite. They're currently on a three win streak, looking to make it four today. TLU one and one last weekend. They won their last matchup, which was Dallas last Saturday, right before that loss to Austin College. But they're looking to make the tournament now. They've got a win out, big win today. Could maybe create some momentum as they face off against a tough St. Thomas tomorrow. There inside, they'll kick it out to Collier. Mid-range shot off the mark, rebounded by Dunn. Let's see what kind of adjustments Coach Dorsey, Coach Falky made at the half. Nine turnovers for Centenary, eight for TLU. But TLU doing a great job on the offensive side later in that second half. Look at Allen starting it off strong. I tell you what, Easton Allen is growing, not even year by year, but game by game. He's averaged double figures in the last six games. Well, he's had double figures, not even average. He's had double figures as well for the Bulldogs in the last seven games. And he is getting better as the season goes on. Just a junior, so he's got another year of play if the Bulldogs don't end up making that conference tournament. We got a foul on the floor. Oh, they want to look at it. Oh, we might have it. Yeah, they want to look at that. We'll be right back in just a moment.
They're going to say just a foul. I think they were looking for a little bit more. We had some technical issues on the replay half. But uh, they're going to say it's just a foul. It looked like uh, Gerald Mirage might have held the legs of Jared. Is that Mirage out there? I think it is. He might have held, held uh, Phillips' leg there, for, or Jared's leg. But they'll just call it a foul. Turnover by Dunn. Centenary able to get it back quick. Now Thomas driving in against Dunn. Great take by Seth Thomas. That'll put Centenary back ahead by three, 34-31. Good job by Phillips. Good pass, two-on-one break. Dunn bounce pass. Hapkin going up. No foul on Greenleaf. TLU not happy about the no call. Tapkin, obviously, you saw him turn around. Had to share some uh, some French with us. Phillips going to have it down low on the inbound. Give it to Tapkin. He's triple teamed in the corner. Kicked out. Allen's got to knock it down. He does. Easton Allen again knocks down another triple for TLU. We're tied for the first time at 34 here in Seguin. Oh, I was going to say, great answer by Collier, but he's not able to knock it down. This is Phillips, poked away from behind by Collier. He's on the fast break against Jarrett, and that's goaltender. I think they're gonna, are they gonna review that? Yeah, maybe not. Allen into Jarrett. Jarrett now back to Phillips. Nice crossover. TLU speeding the pace up a little bit. They'll give it back to Allen. Allen looking for a shot. He's tripped. That'll be a foul. Centenary back with the lead after that last bucket. A lot of fouling going on here early by Centenary. Got to be careful not to put TLU in a, you know, a bonus. Phillips gonna have it on the sideline. He'll give it in to King. Tapkin down low, nice pump fake, able to go up and in. This is Collier now, bringing it down the floor for Centenary. Oh, nice reverse by Collier. Put Centenary back ahead by two. Phillips running the floor. I'll tell you what. Oh, nice pass or nice steal. I was just about to say Phillips doing a great job for this TLU offense, pushing it up the floor and breaking this press. But turns the ball over there. I wish we had player turnovers here on the stats. We might. Let's check it out. Oh, we sure do. It's look spread out a little bit on the TLU side. Dunn with two, Phillips with two, and Jarrett with two. On the Centenary side, Greenleaf with four, and then Seth Thomas, Craig Collier with two. A couple ones out there. We can have, tend to have a turnover. This is Greenleaf with it against Tapkin. He's going baseline. Greenleaf is extremely strong. Look at him. Able to finish it against Tapkin. Centenary increasing the lead now. Back with the press. The gents do not quit. TLU looking to slow them down, get another bucket. They're going to go that high-low action again. It's not there that time. Good defense by Singleton on the baseline. Stolen away. Thomas up ahead. Fast break. Floater off the backboard. No good. Singleton gets the board. Kick back out. Collier for three. Yes. Let's lead back to seven now. TLU needs a bucket. They'll give it to Dunn. Dunn going up. Great defense, but he still finishes it. Timeout, Coach Falky and TLU. Five-point ball game. We're back and forth here in Seguin. That one called by Coach Falky. We'll be back in just a moment on TLU Plus on YouTube.
We're going to have a media timeout soon as well, 16.09 on the clock. Centenary basketball ahead by five. Colin Polk back in the game for TLU, for Darius King as well. we'll give it to Greenleaf. Three-pointer up top and one. What a shot by Quentin Beverly. Go ahead to the line, try to make it a four-point play. Looks like that, a chance to put the Jits up ahead by nine. Look at the media timeout right after the timeout by Coach Falky. That'll slow things down a little bit. knocked down that triple, gonna head to the line for a four point play. He had 30 against University of Dallas last month, three games ago. 30 points in the 97-64 victory over Dallas and then obviously Centenary held St. Thomas to 60 points and, and a win 75-60 and then beat Colorado. They're looking for a four game win streak today. the foul on the three-pointer. Chance to make it a nine-point game, and he does. Beverly now with 11. Allen trapped in the corner, will give it over to Polk. Back over to Allen, up ahead to Juarez, who's just checked in for the first time today. King, down to Dunn, Dunn going up strong, can't finish, tipped away. Thomas trying to save it, it's on the ground, and it is Gents basketball. Singleton, wide open, three-pointer good. From Mirage, surprise done, left that three-pointer open. Just trying to close out on you know, another defender, trying to find someone to guard, but two offensive players there, wide open. Now Centenary ahead by 12. Nearly stolen away through the hands. Polk pull up jumper. Good. Good shot by Colin Polk. That'll bring the lead back to 10. TLU needs a big stop here. I hate to have a double digit game later in the half. So why not break it down now? Singleton driving in and draws a foul. Singleton does a great job of driving right. I don't know if he can drive left yet. I haven't seen it, but that first half, he was getting anything he wanted on the right side. And try to extend this lead. Edwards, Phillips, and Horton all going to check in for Dunn, Allen, and King. I don't think I've seen this lineup from the Bulldogs this season. A little bit smaller, very athletic. Let's see if they can break the press. This is Polk back to Phillips. They gotta get it over. They do to Horton. Horton's gonna slow things up now. Torres, short corner. They kick it up top, Phillips. That one poked away. Centenary draws a foul. Beverly heading back to the line for the Jets. Good 
Beverly, only one missed shot today. Four for five from the field, two for two from three. And perfect from the line so far. Both teams with double digit turnovers. Still 14 minutes left to go. Beverly remains perfect. Trapped in the corner, stolen away again from Polk. No foul caught on that drive. CLU needs to answer here. Down 14. The drive in, a foul is caught on Phillips. Phillips, drawn by Phillips, that is. Phillips again, a 65% free throw shooter after knocking down a couple earlier in the game. He's three for three today. Phillips averaging 12 a game for TOU. Last year, second team all-conference player. Now in his senior year for TOU. I believe he's got a fifth year because of COVID. See if he returns next year. The vital player in this TOU offense. I think he matches centenary style of play very well. He's playing really good. Oh, look at the charge drawn by Phillips. As soon as we talk about how good of a player he is. Phillips drawing a charge. Does a great job on both sides of the ball. A lot of effort from the senior. Can shoot it, can score it, and can lock up on defense. Looking a little winded right now. You see him there at the half court line. It popped back into the picture just a moment. There he is. And he's doing a great job of breaking this press so far. Leading this team. Phillips will grab it. Try to clear it out. But Centenary in a zone. So they're trying to keep this ball on the perimeter. See if they can get it inside. Centenary definitely prioritizing keeping the ball out the bank. You hear Coach Dorsey and the rest of the bench keep it out from the middle. Phillips off the mark. Edwards inside. Strong move up and in. And one for Samaj Edwards. He yells at the bench, I'm back. Bench, I said, B-N-C-H. It sounded, it's kind of close. But bench, he yelled at the bench. Bench, need to work on that. Strong take from Edwards, able to knock down the free throw too. He is hyped. Exactly what the Bulldogs need. Down by nine, this is Barrett with it, bringing it up the floor. Give it back to him against Flores, 10 on 10. Nice pump fake, Beverly inside. Oh, and one. Beverly, off balance shot. That might, that deserves a replay. I wish we had some replay action here. That was a tough off balance finish by Beverly. Goes into the defender. Beverly just a sophomore. Out of Katie. He's in that St. Thomas area. So sitting there, you're gonna jump ahead by 11. Beverly, a chance to make it 12. And he will. Beverly, Beverly leading all scorers on the Jets roster with 14, right behind TLU's Phillips with 15. Still plenty of time for TLU to jump back in this game. Nice pass into Edwards. Edwards going up and finishes. Edwards extremely strong. Able to finish with the contact. TLU back within 10. Thomas against Edwards. Kick it outside to Singleton up top. Now Beverly again. Oh, great defense by Phillips. Nothing called. Edwards coming over to help. A lot of pressure, 10 on the shot clock. Is Thomas going to take it? I think so. Coach Dorsey giving him the signal. This is Thomas against Jarrett. Thomas 
In and out, not able to finish. Or is doing a good job getting the board and pushing it up. Now Horton, what's he gonna do? He's getting trapped. Give it back up top to Phillips. Nice pass. Edwards again inside. Finishes. That's three straight buckets for Samaj Edwards. One of them being an and one. And we've got a timeout by Coach Dorsey. He's got to find a way to put a stop to Samaj Edwards right now. He's brought TLU back into this game. It's an eight-point lead for the Gents. 57-49. We'll be back here on TLU Plus and YouTube in just a moment. Eight point lead for the Gents, 57 49. A lot of time left to go. We've got 12 minutes. Mirage playing some good minutes for the Gents, the freshman. He'll stay in the game. Beverly, quick three from deep. He's fouled by Phillips. So he'll head to the line to shoot three. Once more, twice more. Beverly, four for four from the line. And again, he's only missed one shot today. He's got 16 for Centenary. I think Beverly's got a lot of potential. Again, he scored 30 just two weeks ago against the University of Dallas. I mean, sitting there, he's just got so many guys that can have a game, a big game here and there. I mean, we talked about Seth Thomas being number four in scoring, number three in rebounding in the conference. But he didn't, you know, that, those last three wins for Centenary, he actually didn't lead in scoring. Because Beverly obviously with 30. And then Bear with 18, Greenleaf with 19. Earlier in the season, A.J. Hall with 26. And A.J. Hall with 20. Collier had a 26-point game. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of death on this uh, on this centenary roster. Look at that, another bucket, quick bucket for Christian Wilkerson, a freshman for the Gents. Just checked in. They commit a foul on Jarrett. Jason Allen checking back in for TLU. Tapkin heading to the scores table as well. Phillips over to Allen. Good job by the Gents not allowing anything inside. Jarrett pull up jumper off the front of the rim. It's in the air. Wilkerson had, to, had his hands on it. They say it's tipped by TLU though. Tapkin. Checking back in for Juarez. Freshman Mirage running the point for Centenary. A lot in the second half. Ooh, nice move from Mirage. We'll get it to the corner. Look at Allen playing some great on-ball defense. They'll kick it out. Another freshman, Wilkerson, with it up top. 
Wilkerson pulled up on Tapkin off the front of the rim. Some nice little ball handling there from a 6'5 freshman. Not able to count it though. TLU needs a bucket here. We're close to the halfway mark. Nice pass from Jarrett, kicked out. Phillips off the back of the rim. Tapkin poked away. This is Mirage poking it away and getting a bucket. He's all over the place. Lead back to 13 now. Again, Mirage all over it. Now it's on the floor. And we've got a timeout sitting there. The freshman Mirage all over the place. Look at him. Teammate showing some support. This kid is working hard. It'll be centenary basketball with a 13 point lead. COU trying to find a way to slow this pace down just a little bit. Lineup was looking good until the turnovers. Every time they commit a turnover, it feels like they take a step back. They've got 17 now. Still plenty of time left to go, too. That's a, got to be more careful with this basketball. <laughs> women will play after this game. TLU women in third place in the conference. Centenary last place at one and 11, I believe. Yeah, one on 11. TLU women at 10 and three. TLU with every chance to be in first place right now, the women. Definitely a great team on the women's side. That's a strong take by Thomas against Edwards. That'll put Centenary up ahead by 15. King has just checked in for Jarrett. Everything else the same in the TLU lineup. Phillips taking a deep three off the front of the rim, rebounded again by Tapkin. He'll get the Bulldogs a second chance opportunity. Allen wide open three. That's good from Allen. Easton Allen now with 10 points for the Bulldogs. He's in double figures yet once again. I'm sorry, that made 13. Phillips steals it away. Chance to bring the game back to single digits. They'll give it in to Tapkin. Tapkin looking for Allen cross court, but no, he gives it to King wide open in the corner, count it. Nine point lead now for the Gents after two straight triples from TLU at 64, 55. Nine minutes left to go. This is Collier up top. Coach Dorsey sending two players to the scores table. They've got to find something here because TOU is knocking them down. They'll give it up top to Thomas. And Thomas get a bucket here against Edwards. Looking to go up. He'll throw it up as the shot clock expires, but sitting here he gets an, a second chance opportunity. A free bucket for Collier as the shot clock expires. I think they're going to replay it. So we will, are they gonna re check it out? I think so. Yeah, we'll be back in just a moment here on TU Plus on YouTube.
Getting a replay to see how Thomas hit the floor. Looked like Edwards and Thomas had some uh, collision, some contact after the shot. Thought they were looking at the, if there was a shot clock violation for a little bit, but no. They, they were looking for that contact there here on the near side. Y'all can go back and look at it, obviously. But nothing there. Looked like Thomas flopped a little bit on the contact. And, they won't have a call, but it'll be TLU basketball down by 11. Inside to Tapkin. King wide open for three. Way off. Centenary not able to save it. Singleton bobbling it up back and forth between his hands, and it goes out of bounds. So TLU will get the basketball back. This is Phillips on the near side. He'll give it in to Allen quick. Centenary trying to make sure, you know, TLU's not able to rotate this basketball around on the perimeter. But once TLU gets it inside, just like that, it opens up a wide open three. Easton Allen knocks down another. Allen now with 16 points for TLU. He's four for five from beyond the arc. And it's an eight point game. TLU needs a big stop here. King from behind gets a big block. You got to be careful though after the play. You got to show some sportsmanship here. I think King has some words after the block. If you're an athlete, you know, you got some adrenaline after a big time play like that, especially basketball. The game's moving so fast, but got to control it sometimes. Make sure it's not in a negative way. We do like the. The competition though. What are we getting here? We got immediate, that's right. 742. We're under eight minutes, so we'll take immediate timeout. TLU knocking down some triples. Easton Allen with two here late. Edwards went on a six point or well, seven points because he knocked down the free throw on the end. One little run for TLU. And then Allen knocking down two triples. He's got four this game. They're doing it for TLU second half. Eight point ball game, 742 left on the clock. We'll be back in just a moment here on Tell You Plus. Eight-point ball game, 7.42 left to go here in Seguin. Centenary, third place against an eighth-place TLU. TLU's got to win it out to have a chance of making it into the conference tournament. Centenary fighting to stay in third. Get a bucket on that possession. Centenary looking for Thomas. This is Collier, turnaround jumper. Not able to roll in. Allen gets a board. The big bucket here by TLU. And this game going to be a tight one. One more bucket. We're down to six. That's Phillips up top. Nice back door by King. Not able to finish. Edwards gets the tip in. And it's 66 to 60 with six minutes. Left to go. A lot of sixes on the board. We need to change that. Right. 6.30 left to play. Thomas driving left. He'll kick it out to Beverly. Beverly is just a sophomore, but I tell you, he plays with a lot of patience. Pulls up and one. No foul called. That's a tough shot by Quentin Beverly. Lead back to eight. King doubled. 
Needs to get it over quick. They'll give it to Allen. Allen with some space. Now tapped in short corner. Back door again is King. It's on the floor. My goodness, Greenleaf all over it. And we've got a jump ball. Whose ball is it? I think that's only the second jump ball, and Centenary won the tip. I think it's Centenary. Is it Centenary to you? Oh, they're going to wipe up the floor a little bit. Whose ball is it, though? Yeah, Centenary basketball. So they got the tip, then TLU got the first jump ball, and that was the second one of the game. Now the ref putting in some work on the floor. <laughs> Everybody getting some mop action today. That's how you know they're playing hard. Six minutes left to go. Jarrett gonna check in for King, so is Jordan Dunn for Edwards. Thomas gets it in quick to Mirage. Thomas, trap, able to get out of it, travel. Teal, you needed that one down eight. We're getting late in this ball game. They've got to chip away at this lead more. Well, this could be the end of their, not the end of their season. They still have got two games left to go, but the end of their hopes for the conference tournament action. Allen off the mark. That was a big bucket there if Allen was able to knock that down. That would have brought them within five. They need a big stop here with 5.30 on the clock. Thomas will give it to Singleton. Back up top to Leaf. Now Beverly taking a tough three. My goodness. Quentin Beverly knocking down a triple from deep. With the defender in his face, that's 11 points. That's Centenary leads now. Phillips out to Tapkin. He won't take it, he'll give it to Allen. He'll give it to the middle. That didn't really open up much. Centenary's kind of manned up now. Tapkin, turn around, floater good. They need to keep working it to the middle. It allows for open shots on the outside. If not, Tapkin able to Tapkin or Allen able to, you know, get some get some action themselves in the middle. A little one on one. Look at Greenleaf this time. Nice footwork. Great handles. Greenleaf putting it in. Eleven points. The Jets lead. Tapkin floater again, not able to rattle in. Great single, great job by Singleton to bring down the board. Beverly going up, not able to finish. Phillips gets the board. Let's push it up, nothing there. Bounce pass inside, Thomas reads it, pokes it out. We got our last media time out of the game. 11 point lead. The gents looking to close it up. Still not over though, plenty of time for TOU. Let's see if they can chip away at this lead before it's too late. We'll be back in just a moment, TOU Plus YouTube. A must-win game for the Bulldogs to continue their season in conference play. They've got to win out 
They've got three games left on the season, all at home. Phillips will take the inbound in the Tapkin. King out to Allen, not going to take it baseline, looking for a slam on Greenleaf. Not able to get it. He'll head to the line. Allen. Pretty tough take there. You don't see that much from Allen looking for the slam on the defender. I think they want to look at it again. Looking at uh, the replay again. Make sure there's, you know, no extra finesse after the play, you can call it. But refs take a look at it. They didn't see anything. So Allen going to head to the line. Knocks down one. Ten-point ball game, 3.47 on the clock. TLU in a press. Mirage, the freshman, looking to break it. That ball lobbed into the air. Thomas able to grab it. And they'll give it ahead to Singleton. Singleton off the mark. Edwards gets a rebound. Coach Dorsey not happy about the no call. Thought there was some contact there. TLU needs a big bucket here. Done inside. Kicked out to King. King guarded closely by Mirage. He's got to move it. They've got 10 on the shot clock. Edwards in the corner. Allen taking a three off the front of the rim. It's rebounded by Thomas. Great defense by the gents on that possession. We got a jump ball. And it'll be TLU basketball. The gents got it. Got the last one. Yes. Centenary not happy about the call, but TLU, yeah, TLU got, or Centenary got the last one. We were just talking about that here on the stream. Looking at other SCAC play, Colorado currently in the lead. Sorry, we'll talk about that in a minute. We got a close game here. Three minutes to go. TLU needs a big bucket. Phillips in the corner, needs it. Not able to count it, but he gets fouled. He'll head to the line to shoot three big buckets for TLU. The foul was on Bear. Phillips able to knock down the first. He needs all three of these. 258 left to go. But no, Colorado's currently beating Striner right now. Let's check the score. It's currently, no, their live stats aren't working, I guess, on the SCAC site. Good. It'll remain 
Gents basketball. Good job on the inbound. You don't want to waste time, but you either want to force a shot or force a turnover. I'll give it in to Greenleaf. Greenleaf looking to go all the way. He's got some space against Dunn. Greenleaf strong take. Can't allow him to get open in the open floor because Greenleaf is too strong and is just going to finish it every time. TLU back down by nine. They chipped away by one. King tough three makes it. Timeout, Coach Falky, a quick one. We're within six now. 2.36 left to go. It's still not over. TLU needs a win. They need a big win here. Maybe create some momentum, too, before facing off against another tough team tomorrow against St. Thomas. And to keep their hopes alive in conference play. At 75 to 70, Colorado Lee Shriner, 129 left to go. That'll move Colorado up to seven and six if they're able to pull off the win. But that's almost the identical score here, 79, 60, 75, 69, with a little bit more time, about a minute more. Colorado just turned it over. It's 72, 75 out there in Kerrville now. Close ball game. Tom is going deep. Is it a touchdown? No, it's saved in. Turnover on the gents. Thomas trying to get it back, and it'll be out of bounds. So TLU with the basketball down six. They score here. We've got some exciting play ahead. We'll give it in to King. King up top. We need a bucket, a quick one. They'll give it in the middle. Dunn pulls it. It's off. Rebounded by Greenlee. Surprise, Falky hasn't subbed in uh, Tapkin there at the middle. He's played extremely efficient on the offensive side for the Bulldogs. Moves it well against this 1-3-1. 12 on the shot clock, and that shot clock went by fast. Greenleaf bobbling it, he's out of bounds. Jets turning the ball over a lot here late. They control it, they can wrap this game up, but they're giving TLU some some breathing room right now. This game, not even close to being over. Colorado leading Shriner, 75-74. They got two buckets back to back. One point game out there, 40 seconds left to go. CLU needs a bucket quick, wasting too much time. Edwards will have it inside against Greenleaf. Turn around, puts it up, and it goes in. Tough take. Four-point game, a minute 40 left. This is Beverly. He's going to get trapped. It's on the floor, but poked away and out of bounds on Samaj Edwards. Yeah, if Colorado is able to upset Shriner, that'll move uh, Colorado. Another game ahead of TLU. Make it even harder for them to get in, but that'll move them closer to Centenary with eight wins. Centenary looking to make eight wins today. Singleton driving baseline, kicked out wide open three. Mirage needs it. The freshman coming in clutch for the Gents. That puts them ahead by seven with a minute 10 left. That is a huge bucket for Centenary. TLU's got to answer. They've got to answer quick. Edwards driving in. Can't finish, Dunn looking for the rebound. It's tipped out by Dunn, and Centenary gets the basketball back with a minute, under a minute left to go. This doesn't look good for TLU. Boy, it was Mirage clutch on that shot. He's played the end of this game extremely well for Centenary on both sides, has made some great steals and able to finish after the steal, and then knocks down probably the biggest bucket of the game for Centenary. They're gonna review again. They're getting a lot of reviews today. I'm not sure what they wanna review, but we'll be back.
And we're having a lot of issues there on the replay side. It's the most technical issues we've had. It's partially my fault, but I'm too much into the game. I'm trying to multitask, but they're seeing who that ball went out on on the last possession. I'll say it's centenary. It's hard to tell from the replay. T.O., you looking to foul. They will foul late. So, Centenary heading to the line. Colorado, oh my goodness, they went up by six. And they'll win the game out there in Kerrville as time expires. So, Colorado moves further ahead from T.O.U. T.O.U. now three games back from Austin College where they need to lose as well to get into this tournament. They win two more games, they'll have six wins. So mathematically, yeah, they, mathematically, they don't win at A, they can't get in. Eight point lead. The game's still not over here in Seguin. T.O.U. can get two big buckets and a stop. Boy, that. A foul called on the drive. And yeah, we've got a one-on-one. -on -one. Both teams in a bonus right now. So King heading to the line after the foul. it down. Yeah, Colorado able to knock off Shriner. Not what TLU needed in their situation. 40 seconds left, a seven point game. Coach Dorsey going to try to call a timeout. He does for Centenary with 38 seconds left. He's calling a full great call by Dorsey. Try to wrap this game up with 40 seconds. It's still not over. But if Centenary can control this ball well, knock down some free throws because the foul's coming. TLU women will face off against Centenary women after this. TLU looking to jump back into second place in the women's standings. They're 10 and three, Colorado at 10 and two. But TLU swept Colorado in the series. So they've definitely got the uh, tiebreaker. They just need Colorado lo to lose a game. They've got one less loss in the SCAC standings. And they've got Trinity left to go. They'll play Trinity this weekend actually on Sunday. And Shriner who knocked off TOU. So TLU still a chance to play second. They've got to win out as well to get that first round by in the tournament. That's huge in SCAC play. Thomas inbounds to Beverly. TLU gonna foul right away. So Beverly heading to the line. So Beverly misses till you get a quick bucket. They're still in the game, but down seven. That's a three possession game. Beverly making it even harder. Eight point game now with 37 seconds left. And he'll not miss the second. 35 seconds on the game clock. TLU needs a quick three here. 
And it's stolen away. That'll wrap it up. Here in Seguin. Beverly for three for the dagger. No good. Greenleaf gets the rebound. It's up top. And we've got just 15 seconds left. As King fouls Thomas. And that is the season. No, no uh, extended season for the Bulldogs this year. But still two big games left to go against St. Thomas. And then Southwestern. Both at home. So if you're a TLU fan, maybe try to make it out. For a doubleheader, men's and women's will play both of those nights as well. One tomorrow and then the last senior night game next Friday against Southwestern. <laughs> Southwestern men, last place in the conference, still have not won a game all season. And then women at 3-10 and ten right ahead of Centenary. A little dunk there from Edwards. I don't bring them within eight, but just six seconds left to go. And time will expire. 82-74, Centenary moves to eight and five in conference play. TLU gonna move to four and 10. And again, TLU not able to make an extended season to conference tournament play this year. But they've still got two games left to go. We appreciate you for joining us here on TLU Plus and YouTube. If you're tuning in for the women's game after this, we have about, let's see how much time they put on the clock. What time is it anyway? 7.24, they'll do 20 minutes on the clock. So we'll see you guys in about 15 minutes if you're tuning in for the women's. If you're not, thank you for joining us here live on TLU Plus and YouTube. We'll see you in a moment.